Well guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming Guitar Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Rocket Elite Sideswipe and the best settings for Rocket Elite Sideswipe for a controller on PC. But if you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. And now, let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay guys, so I'm not going to go to the whole website for Nox Player. I'm basically just going to be showing you guys how to download the right version of Nox uh, Player and then be able to download Rocket League side swipe and then show you guys the controller settings. I will leave links to everything in this video, so don't worry about that. Just go ahead and go into the description and download Nox Player. And once you get to this page or once you open the multi drive, you'll be right here where I am. So you guys see I'm uh, you, there's two versions of it. Honestly, you can just delete this one or you won't see it but the reason why i see it is because i have two different versions but make sure that you have a decent amount of space on your hard drive keep at least i mean in general you should be keeping about 100 gigabytes of space on your hard drive at all times if ssd if that really doesn't matter your hard drive is what matter matters though but you go ahead and uh you you guys will see anything if this is your first time using Knox player so what you want to do is you want to add emulator and you want to do android 9 64 bit now the reason why you need to follow this and not just make a random one is because basically the version that already comes with Knox player does not support rocket league it basically isn't strong enough gpu really doesn't matter you don't need to have a crazy gpu just have something you know what i mean Oh, and it have a decent amount of RAM and a decent CPU. I'm running an i5-650, so pretty much anything <laughs> can run Nox Player. But um, just go ahead. Once you do the Android 9, you want to press this uh, system settings. And you want to put performance settings on high. You want to keep it like this, open GL, because that's what Rocket League Sideswipe needs. Then you, you can put it on whatever you want. I normally just put it on uh, 1920X or buy 1080 but if you want to have decent performance i advise you just to put it on 720p and make sure to keep it on tablet go to gaming make sure everything should be straight here make sure it's on open astc texture device make sure that it's on samsung galaxy s20 ultra the highest one and that should be it now just go ahead and save the settings Make sure you save the settings or, it, or you won't be able to run uh, Rocket League Sideswipe. And I, w I was thinking about making this video like four days ago, but since Rocket League Sideswipe went worldwide yesterday, it kind of worked out. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up here. Now, is you just want to find something random. You need to find just something that is from Google Play because I don't know. It, it, it's really weird because with Knox Player, they don't give you an actual Google Play app they have it on the um on the device but it, it, it's, it's different like they, they try to make their own version of google play so just find a game that is with um google play now they will make you sign in so just make sure that you go ahead and sign in yeah you play it'll tell me it'll tell you sign in i'll be back once i am signed in now what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and you want to search rocket league side swipe now one thing I've, i have noticed if you just search side swipe it might be hard for you to find it but you guys see now at, now that it's a official thing and it already has 500k plus downloads now it's going to be the first thing up there now what you want to do is just install and it is like 891 megabytes i think so it will take a minute okay so you guys see that it is done and now if you play then it should it takes about two minutes to load but some uh, some problem that i had was that sometimes it like it'll crash if it does just keep crashing just restart nox player and then it should start working again now it will make you sign into your epic games you guys see um that is it's, it's in so we're not having any problems now one thing is i'm not sure how to fix this but in the game sometimes it'll it's, it's like a tiny fps drop sometimes and you, you'll see what i'm talking about in a minute but if you go ahead and log in with epic games or i mean i could just play offline and actually that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna go back now just play offline this is just to show you guys the controls for it so you guys see that it's trying to, tip to show me the controls now i'm actually just gonna leave this actually i'm gonna exit to free play and now i'm gonna show you guys the best controls for rocket league side swipe so go ahead and click up at this icon this is the icon you want to see well first just press next on these now you guys can see there is a really big um 
FPS drop at times, you want to just go ahead and uh, keep it on the screen and you want to go over here to this keyboard icon. This is the controls or keybinds. And you want to click on it and wait for it to load and then you want to go to the controller. Now, now I will be doing a update for this video if you guys need keyboard um, controls, which I don't play with keyboard. And this video is for people who normally play uh, Rocket League with control with a controller. Now, if you play this with keyboard, put it in the comments. And depending on how many people say that, I will make a video on it. If it's only like a few people, I'll just uh, tell them the, con the controls. Now, you guys can see I already have them right here. So basically, what you want to do, just do left joystick, move it over here. You want to find the single click and you want to just put them all around here. Now, depending on the way you normally play Rocket League, this might differ. It's so like I do boost with the B on the Xbox controller, or it might be, I think it's square on a PlayStation controller. But if you do boost with, I don't know, RT or yeah, RT on a controller, on an Xbox controller, then you would just. Put uh put that same key. Basically, what it, just try to put it the same way you do in regular Rocket League. So if you jump with um, A or the bottom button, then put that right there. If you boost with B or uh, Square, then you would put it right. And then you would put it on the boost. And I've actually set up my own little custom way of doing um, emotes. I um, mean, uh, of uh, doing chat. So I'm just going to show you guys. So this is probably going to be crazy laggy since I am recording. But you guys can see, yeah, it's really laggy, and my recording is probably lagging so much. But um, yeah, you guys can see this is pretty C CPU intensive. So as long as you have a, I'm just gonna say it like this: as long as you have a CPU that has more than 3.33 gigahertz, you should be fine, because that's how much mine has. But that looks like that's pretty much it. If you guys ended up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. And if you guys want a update on this video i will make an update if i can find a way to fix the the minimal lag while playing this game and i will also make a video about the best keyboard settings if you guys want and i and if i help anybody please make sure to, to subscribe or any new people please make sure to subscribe and with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next video